Hello, welcome to part 6 of 500 Physiotherapy MCQ. We have given the explanation to each and every question in the description and detailed explanation inside the telegram group. Now do not waste much time, let's move to our question number 101. The median sagittal plane divides the body into option A, right and left half, option B, superior and inferior portion, option C, cural and cephalic portion, option D, anterior and posterior portion and the answer is Option A, right and left house. Now let's move to question number 102. Defect known as Bungard lesion. Option A, defect of the posterior glenoid labrum. Option B, defect of inferior glenoid labrum. Option C, defect of posterior inferior glenoid labrum. Option D, defect of anterior glenohumeral ligaments and glenoid labrum. And the answer is Option D, defect of anterior glenohumeral ligaments and glenoid labrum. Now let's move to question number 103. Piano key test indicates Option A, instability of the distal radio ulnar joint. Option B, instability of second and third metacarpal joints. Option C, stability of carpitate bone. Option D, degenerative joint disease of metacarpopharyngeal joints. And the answer is Option A. Instability of distal radio ulnar joint. Now let's move to question number 104. In which of the following bone structures do osteocytes live? Option A. Osteons. Option B. Canaliculi. Option C. Lacuna. Option D. Lamellae. And the answer is Option C. Lacunae. Now let's move to question number 105. Which is superficial heating modality? Option A. Hydrocollateral, wax bath, hydrotherapy and ultrasound. Option B. Electric heating pad, fluidotherapy, shortwave diatomy, infrared. Option C. Hot pack, wax bath, hydrotherapy and infrared. Option D. Microwave, hot pack, hydrotherapy, hot water bath. And the answer is Option C, hot pack, wax bath, hydrotherapy and infrared. Now let's move to question number 106. Which of the following arteries supply most of the blood to the head and the neck of the femur? Option A, medial circumflex femoral. Option B, tureter. Option C, lateral circumflex. Option D, external foot and del. And the answer is Option A, medial circumflex femoral. Now let's move to question number 107. Truth about the sites involved in the osteomyelitis is Option A mainly involves metaphysis. Option B distal tibia is involved commonly. Option C proximal humerus is involved commonly. Option D proximal femur is involved commonly. And the answer is Option A mainly involves metaphysis and option C proximal humerus is involved commonly. Now let's move to question number 108. The floor of the popliteal fossa includes which of the following structures? Option A. Oblique popliteal ligament. Option B. Patella. Option C. Lateral meniscus. Option D. Anterior cruciate ligament. And the answer is Option A. Oblique popliteal ligament. Now let's move to question number 109. Pain on the lateral rotation of the tibia on the femur indicates damage of which of the following structures? Option A. Anterior cruciate ligament. Option B. Posterior cruciate ligament. Option C. Lateral meniscus. Option D. Medial meniscus. And the answer is Option C. Lateral meniscus. Now let's move to question number 110. Which of the following is gram positive cocci? Option A. Streptococcus. Option B. Neisseria. Option C. Estudicia. Option D. Quirinibacterium. bacterium. And the answer is Option A. Streptococcus. Now let's move to question number 111. Mid tarsal joint is formed by Option A. Talocuboid joint. Option B. Calcaneonavicular joint. Option C. Calcaneocuboid and Talonavicular joints. Option D. Cuneonavicular joint. And the answer is Option C. Calcaneocuboid and Talonavicular joints. Now let's move to question number 112. 
ऑटोनॉमिक डिसरफ्लेक्सिया इज ट्रिगर्ड बाय ऑप्शन ए इंडमिटेंट का तीसरी ऑप्शन बी प्रेगनेंसी ऑप्शन सी किडनी स्टोन ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द एब एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द एब नाउ लेट्स मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 113 ग्रेटर मोटर इमेजिनरी टेक्निक आर आइडियल फॉर ऑप्शन ए वर्ल्ड्समैन इश्कीमिक कंट्रैक्चर ऑप्शन बी रायमंड्स डिसीज ऑप्शन सी ऑटोनॉमिक डिसरफ्लेक्सिया ऑप्शन डी सी आर पी एस एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी सी आर पी एस नाउ लेट्स मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 114 फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द ट्यूनिंग फॉर्क यूज्ड इन रिंड्स टेस्ट इज ऑप्शन ए 128 हर्ट्ज ऑप्शन बी 256 हर्ट्ज ऑप्शन सी 512 हर्ट्ज ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द एब and the answer is option c 512 hertz now let's move to question number 115 identify the functional balance assessment test for 60 year old neurology il patient option a berg scale option b functional reach test option c get up and go test option d film scale and the answer is option c get up and go test Now let's move to question number 116. Neuropraxia means option A complete cut of the nerve, option B damage to only the nerve sheet, option C damage to both nerve sheet and the axon, option D physiological block to the nerve impulse. And the answer is option B damage to only the nerve sheet. Now let's move to question number 117. Tyler's muscle option A quadriceps option B sartorius option C hamstring option D calf and the answer is option B sartorius Now let's move to question number 118 Estrogen and progesterone production in first 2 months of pregnancy is by option A ovary option B placenta option C adrenal gland option D corpus luteum and the answer is Option D corpus luteum Now let's move to question number 119 Founder of the motor relearning approach in neurological rehabilitation is Option A Bruce Tom Option B Karen Shepard Option C Bertha Bobart Option D Herman Cabot and the answer is Option B Karen Shepard Now let's move to question number 120 The etiopathology of hydrocephalus include Option A over production of the CSF option B obstruction of the overflow option C poor absorption option D all of the above and the answer is option D all of the above so that's all for today if you have any doubts please mention in the comment box i think you have learned something valuable today see you in the next session that's part 7 and thank you bye bye